Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the second video on Grid Tracker and Grid Tracker Alert. Uh, this is how I have it set up. Let me go over to the settings and then to the alerts tab. And by the way, my previous video had the other settings uh, like logging. Um, so you can visit that video to see how I have that set up and right now I'm using uh, HRD logbook I'm using WSJTX and grid tracker uh, let's see so I have some call signs in here and this is kinda neat I like uh, being able to do this I can put my friends in there or people that I've been in contact with so if I see them on the band I'll be alerted and uh, can make contact with them uh, then up here, I'm just looking for a grid, DXCC, and uh, a U.S. state that I, I possibly don't have. And uh, that's about it. I've got a little post on my website, www.k0pir.us, and uh, you can visit it and uh, see the rest of it. But I'm going to show you how, I'm, how I've been using it. I'm going to close this. I really like the map on uh, Grid Tracker. Uh, it's pretty cool. I can see the QSOs going on. Uh, so I'm looking for a few, and you might be able to hear it. Wanted grid. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I just have to click once. And uh, that brings up the WSJTX window. And let's see, I'm transmitting. Oh boy, my SWR is off, so I won't, uh, won't make a contact that way. Okay, got the antenna tuned now. I just had to hit the tuner on my radio. I'm using the ICOM 7610. Oh boy, he uh, came back to me. There you go. What do you know about that? Yeah, I'm putting out about 50 watts. I uh, wasn't sure how, how the band was, but you'll see I'm getting a uh, minus 14 from him. And uh, let's see, he's sending me a, a minus 5. I'm going to go over and take a look at the wide graph, see where we are, right in there, there's where I'm transmitting, there's where I'm uh, receiving him, got the roger, 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 and uh, there we go, 50 watts, I'm going to log him, and uh, you'll see uh, it gets logged into HRD logbook, and uh, grid tracker is doing that, I'm not using QSO forwarding, and you can see down here that it got logged. So all I have to do uh, is bring up my uh, roster, the call roster, and wait for a, a, an alert, and then just click on it once, and it starts the transmission. I can uh, maximize this, and we'll uh, see, oh there, there we go, where is he? Oh, there I am right there. I don't get on 30 meters an awful lot, but I have been lately. Uh, I have a friend that uh, gets on there on CW on 30 meters, so I've been on 30 CW. There we go. Here you gave me a minus one, a pretty strong signal. And he's a uh, plus 11. Let me go over to the waterfall. Yep, there he is, right over there. Okay. Send the 73 to him. Got everything in there. Go ahead and click OK, and then I can hear it, it gets logged, and I'm using uh, Grid Tracker to upload to my online logs, and again, you can see the, the post I put on my website, Yeah, it goes into that a little more detail. Okay, let's try this guy. 
And see, he went right to Colin, right back to Colin CQ. Oh, he entered me. There we go. Let's see, he's over here. I still got a pretty clear spot. I got a minus 12. I'm giving him a minus 2. And, uh, you know, that's that's about right where I like to be. Um, I'm putting out 50 watts, which is an awful lot. But, uh, just band conditions, poor band conditions. Well, and this antenna is not made for 30. There it goes, gets logged into there. And I'll stop here. Go to HRD logbook and show you. Just uh, had those FT8 contacts right in there. Got them all logged. And let me show you what grid tracker looks like. The main window over here. You can see it was logged hrdlog.net, uh, eqsl, qrz, hrd logbook, and then of course the grid tracker backup. So uh, that's the way I've been doing it, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's just great getting on different modes, trying different modes, operating, and uh, seeing how many contacts I can make or. Uh, how far of a contact I can make any DX and there was a lot of DX on 30 meters last night on FT8 So if you haven't already, uh, please click the subscribe button below and ring that bell You'll be notified when I put out a new video head on over to my website www.k0pir.us and uh, Sign up there too. You'll be notified when I put out a new article on my website so thanks for watching i hope you got something out of this video please comment below 73 and good dx